And well, certain colors can say a lot about your personality when it comes to painting. Next, we'll see how to choose the color to fit your personality and look at matching colors to fit your home. And lots of colorful questions. It is a project that is a pain for many of us, but it doesn't have to be. So here to show us how to brighten our homes with paint is Christine Tracy from Pittsburgh Paints. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Let's talk about the quiz I took last week because you guys have a little quiz on your website, which yes. is? Yes, if you go on voiceofcolor.com, mm -hmm. you can take the Color Sense game. Um, basically, it chooses your color personality, and that's what Q did here, and uh, Q's color personality that she chose was almonds and honey, and basically, it just asked you many questions about your personality and what color coordination would work best for you. And it's a great way to narrow, this is almonds and honey, by the way, my little color palette, but it's a great way to narrow down the <laughs> variety of choices that right. people have, because as someone who's looking to, to paint a room pretty soon, it is overwhelming. It is. It's very overwhelming. And what I suggest always is to choose an inspiration piece. Um, paint is always the last thing that you can do. It's the easiest thing, and it's the quickest thing that you can change. Um, you choose an inspiration such as a picture, um, a piece of tile, something like that. Um, in this situation, we chose the inspiration for the almonds and honey. We chose a tile piece from the Michigan Design Center uh, from the ANSAC showroom. And this was a great accent color too. What Q had chose for her um, color personality, this is from our Harmony collection called Almonds and Honey. This color is Lion's Mane. Yeah, so, so what type of room would I put this in? Because even though I'm in almonds and honey, this is really bright to me. Right, it's a bright, bold color. And as long, you can put this in any room, any size, large or small, it doesn't matter, um, as long as you accent it accordingly. So um, Michigan Design Center is a great place to go uh, as far as accenting. They have 30 showrooms with over, with thousands of different ideas ideas for anything furnishing the inside of your home. What we have here are some pieces that would go wonderful with this color. Um, many choices. As we, before we run out of time, I want to talk about some finishes because this sure. is another thing where people sort of get a bit overwhelmed. Sure. Where, you know, do you want to go gloss or semi-gloss or flat? Or as you said, this is absolutely eggshell. So absolutely. what should you keep in mind when you, when you find the color that you want and that you love, what, then when you look at all the sheens, what should you keep in mind? Um, definitely durability. You want to use the higher sheens for the high traffic areas such as a bathroom or a kitchen, molding, doors. You want to go with the lower sheens for typically bedrooms, living rooms, when it's not such a high traffic area where you don't have hands all over your walls. Um, five different sheens to choose from. And ranging so, from so, matte to gloss. So this is almonds and honey, but this is sort of a new line. This is called yes. Avatar. So what do you suggest using these big, bright, bold colors? Um, these are 2009, 2010 color trends. And this would, I mean, great for a kid's room, um, great for a teenager's room, because these are the bold colors. This is what's in right now, jewel tones, berry colors, um, bright greens, mm -hmm. things like that. Perfect. Now, you guys have a seminar going on Wednesday. That is from 11 to 12 at the Michigan Design Center. And then yes. there's another seminar from 1 to Two, which talks about how to use Michigan Design Center's website to get all of your decorating needs in order. And that information is right on uh, the TV right now. It's also on our website at my foxdetroit.com and michigandesign.com. Yes, yeah, so you can go to well. michigandesign.com and get information about the seminar. All right, thank you. Okay, thank a little you. more relief. I appreciate that. No problem. Time to go paint shopping. <laughs>